Today, I'll be giving you the pros and cons on this electric toothbrush made by Very Well. At least, I think that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> Anyways, the model is at the bottom of the uh, toothbrush and I'll make sure I put it in the description down below. Hi, hello, and what's up YouTubers? Welcome to PC by CP or Pros and Cons by Coach Pat, where I give you real life evaluations on everyday products. If you enjoy my videos, Hit that like button and please don't forget to subscribe thanks so this particular model is a black and gold trim it's kind of golden so as you can see here the button the power button and the little trim on the top it's also kind of golden uh, they do have them in different colors um, you can get on eBay you can get on Amazon and they pretty much go for the same price so for the first pro on this electric toothbrush definitely the price $25 is what I paid for it, roughly $25. Uh, you can get it a little cheaper than that, or you can get it, it's gonna cost you a few dollars more depending on how many toothbrushes are in your package. So I got the toothbrush and a little packet that came with extra four toothbrush heads. To me, it's worth it because um, honestly, I'm gonna use them anyways. And for the price, I figured, you know, it was worth a shot and I'm pretty surprised and pretty happy with it actually i enjoy brushing my teeth with this toothbrush it's it's got a lot of nice little features so that's the second pro right there it actually works it works and it works well so like i said i enjoy brushing my teeth it doesn't feel like it's hurting like it's too strong like it's too weak so it actually does its job um, i know for sure that there's some of them that are a little more expensive and some of them have uh, Bluetooth connectivity and they cost, you know, 50, 75, $150 and even more. Uh, I personally don't need the Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, I guess it might be kind of cool to see on your phone, you know, how much you brush your teeth and all that. But I personally don't need that. I can see somebody else wanting that feature, but I don't. So for $30 or $25 roughly, you're going to you're gonna do pretty good with this one. So first uh, pro, $25. Second pro, it actually works. Third one, it's got three modes or three speeds. So I know that it might be a little hard for the camera to pick it up. You're gonna see three little lights or three words light up. I'm gonna show them to you, but I'll also put pictures that'll show it a little clearer. So when you first put one, speed is clean. The second one is sensitive. And the third one is massage. So it's basically three levels, three speeds and i can see how some people have some sensitive uh, gums they may want to use something a little less strong so they don't you know their gums don't bleed or something like that so that's definitely another pro so you have the 25 dollars pretty good price the three speed modes and also that it works so the other uh pro that i kind of find about it that i kind of like is the battery life the battery life it, it's pretty good i usually charge it twice a month so at the beginning of the month the first few days i'll charge it and then at the middle of the month i'll charge it again uh basically i think what it says is like a three hours to fully charge the toothbrush what i do is in the morning i you know brush my teeth then i leave it charging there and i kind of leave it charging <laughs> all day when i come back from work maybe you know 10 hours later i'll i'll unplug it so it doesn't get hot it's not like you're gonna you know burn down the house or something <laughs> It is, it is pretty, uh, pretty good at charging. Um, it comes with the charging cable. So one end is the regular USB, you know, that goes into your computer or into any cell phone, you know, block charger kind of thing. And the other one is the port that goes into the bottom charging port of the toothbrush. So it basically snaps in there and it is pretty secure. So it's not like it's it's loose or you're wondering you know it's is it tight in there if it, it, it fits in there kind of snug so I kind of like that and if you're like me or pretty much anybody else you have any one of these little charging blocks from an old cell phone or something like that this particular one is is from a Samsung phone you can use iPhone blocks or pretty much any one of them um, so again battery life lasts pretty good it usually lasts me more than two weeks but again I charge it twice a month I personally don't see the need in longer than that um, so even if I go on vacation a week or two weeks I don't even need to take my charger it's not like the battery starts to drain and starts to work a little 
you know, weaker by the end of the two weeks. The, the charts actually holds pretty good. Um, so if you, I guess, run it longer than that, you might be wearing down the battery a little longer and it's not good for any battery to rain or to drain, you know, to such low levels. So for me, the two week period, it's more than enough. I don't really see a need for more, but I mean, you know, different people, different tastes also. So the other cool feature or the other pro is like many other electric toothbrushes, it has like a 30 second timer. So as you're brushing your teeth, it kind of gives you a different vibration and you feel it. It's very different than the normal speed of it. And, and it kind of reminds you, hey, it's time to move on from one corner of the, your mouth to the other or down or whatever. So it's got the four 30 second, uh, I guess, timers on it. So you can clean your mouth, you know, completely. It's kind of like a reminder, I guess, you know, if you're five o'clock in the morning brushing your teeth and you're kind of <laughs> halfway asleep, it'll remind you, hey, you know, time to clean the rest of your mouth. So I do like that, that it, it gives you like a friendly little vibration sensor kind of thing to, you know, keep moving on. So those are my four pros, four or five pros on this electric toothbrush. So one of the things that this toothbrush has that's kind of easy, it's not a pro or a con, but I kind of wanted to show you guys how to do it, is how to change these little toothbrush heads. You basically twist and pull, and that's really it. So I kind of left mine, uh, I guess with a little bit of the toothpaste residue, because I wanted to show you guys that probably after two or three times that you brush your teeth, you know, you want to kind of take off the toothbrush head and kind of rinse it, kind of clean it up a little bit. It will come down the bottom of the toothbrush head into the top right here. So I kind of wanted to show you guys that it's not a drawback, it's not a pro, it's not a con, but just a little bit of information. And to put it back, you just kind of place it, twist it back, it locks, and you're good to go. And now for the cons. There's really two that I can see. Um, so the first one, it's it's a little noisy. So I'm gonna turn it on on the highest mode and I'm gonna try to put it a little closer to the microphone so hopefully you guys can hear. Um, so that's the clean mode. And I kind of let it run there a little bit. So as you can see, it is a little, uh, look, it's not that loud that it's gonna wake up the neighborhood and you're not going to wake up the wife at 5.30 in the morning when you're brushing your teeth and she throws something at you telling you, hey, keep it down there. So it's, uh, it's loud, but it ain't that loud. Um, but it is a little drawback compared to other electric toothbrushes that I've had that are a little quieter. None of them are, you know, super quiet that you don't hear them. Um, but this one, it's a little extra loud, but it's not a deal breaker for me, at least for the price. But it is a con. You may find others that are a little less noisy. Uh, the other thing that I kind of uh, not like so much is the charging port at the bottom. So that means that you have to plug in the cable at the bottom so you can't charge it, you know, standing up, obviously. So you have to lay it down. It does have a little kind of like a, a straight cut right here at the bottom. So it kind of keeps it in place. And I will show pictures of it, uh, you know, laying uh, on, on your you know, bathroom, you know, counter. But what I don't like about it, if you place it nice and gentle, yes, it'll stay there. But if you touch the cable, it might roll around and your toothbrush head will end up touching either the sink or maybe the kitchen or the bathroom uh, counter. So I personally don't like that too much. Uh, and the reason why is because I'm comparing it to another toothbrush that I had, which basically had a little base that the base was connected to the outlet. And all you would do is just, you would place your toothbrush on top of that base and it, it was wireless so it, there was no wire going into the toothbrush but it was just put it in on the base and it would charge it there so i kind of liked it that it was standing up the toothbrush said it was no you know no nowhere near of you know touching the, the the sink or anything like that i know they have the little caps that go on top but i really just use those for when i go on vacation um, when I'm at home, I rather have my toothbrush, you know, air dry. So I kind of, you know, clean it and leave it there by, you know, by my medicine cabinet and just let it air dry. Uh, I think it's a little cleaner. So those are really the only two mm, cons that I have about it. Other than that, for the price, 
I really think it's a good buy, uh, especially compared to other toothbrushes I've had. Uh, I actually liked it so much that I bought one for my wife. And I want to get my daughter to change over and, you know, hopefully she'll uh, she'll give it a try and uh, she'll switch to one of these. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments on the bottom and please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.